Hey YouTube, JT here. Are hey, you looking at a couple of my uh, bench-made infidels out the front knives? I know nothing fancy. Did a video over two years ago on them, and um, he called them overpriced coolness. Uh, I got these from Blade HQ a couple months ago, and I tell you, there's a little, they're a little bit more affordable now. I don't know. Last year I saw a whole bunch of videos on them, but I haven't seen any uh, recently. The reason why I want to do this video is in my uh, EDC video, Go Big or Go Home, I was using uh, one as a pointer. I've been receiving a lot of comments asking me uh, what kind of knife is that. So I guess, you know, maybe there's a whole bunch of people, a new crop of YouTubers or knife enthusiasts who haven't seen this knife. If nothing else, it's a fun video to make. All right, so let's uh, get the specs out of the way. Right, so it's uh the blade steel is D2 tool steel. See, it's a McHenry design. He's one of the designers from the Benchmade 710 knife. It's a double edge uh, spear point. Blade length 3.95 inches. Thickness Point one one eight inches. Overall length eight point nine five inches. But then when I measured it with a measuring tape, the, the the blade came out to four inches, and the handle came out to five. So uh, you must just call it nine inches. The weight is five ounces. Sandal material is um, black anodized machine 6061 T6 aircraft grade aluminum. It, uh, there in the pocket clip, you see Infidel. It's a nice uh, design for this clip, it rides uh, deep in your pocket. And I think it's um, it would be safe if you wanted to carry it in your pocket because it takes some um, positive pressure to open this thing. Okay, so it's a double action out the front knife. So this is a Cupid clone. This is a single action. So you hit the firing button, actuator, whatever you want to call it. The knife shoots out. But then this type of knife, you have to reset or retract the blade to fire it again. Whereas the single action, I mean, excuse me, double action, open, close, open, close. And I tell you, you get one of these in your hand, you're watching TV. I'm playing with this thing. It's a little dangerous doing that. You're going to forget you have a knife in your hand next thing. You're going to stick yourself. But what I'm saying is, this is addictive. It's fun. That's the thing about automatics or out the front knives. They're fun to play with. Alright, MSRP for this the satin finish was $450. Uh, the black finish is $465. So like I said, you go to Blade HQ, and uh, so you click it, you add it to your shopping cart. When I bought it, like I said, the, the original price for, was $450. Now I, I've seen it, it's down to $389, so you might get a better deal than me. So anyway, it's in your, your shopping cart, you're going to check out. When you check out, at $450 is not what you're going to pay. For this one, $269. You know, I paid that much for other knives like uh, Emerson's. The black finish, I bought it a couple weeks later because you know I wanted wanted to have another one. Two ninety nine. So cool knives. And you know, people are gonna say, you know, what are you gonna use it for? 
a lot of times I buy things just to have. I mean, it's not the best knife to have, say, if you wanted to use it for defensive purposes or whatnot. I mean, I would rather have one of my striders with me. In a rock solid, built like a tank. But you leave your strider at home, or you forget it in your car, and for whatever reason, this is the only thing you have. You know what do I always say? The best knife in the world is the one you have. And then there's an the intimidation factor too with, um, you know, switch blades, out the front knives. But let's not pretend you got some men working for you in collections, and then they, they visit this guy who owes you a weekly uh, payment. You know, after a couple shots in a bread baskets. Maybe a kick in the nutsoids, they slam him down in a chair, pull up against the wall, and they say, Where's JT's money? And they say, you know, I'm out of, you know, I, I don't have it. I need more time. So your enforcer busts this out of his pocket and says, You're out of time. The guy's going to be a little bit more scared than he was two seconds ago. And plus, you know, if he doesn't pay, you, know, you order the guy to cut something or break, excuse me, went off on a tangent again. All right, so, Benchmade Infidels. I think you can call them affordable coolness now. All right, guys, watch your six. JT out.